Chernobyl nuclear disaster in Soviet Union from Disaster Diaries. On April 25 and 26, 1986, the worst nuclear accident in history unfolded in what was then northern Ukraine of USSR, as a reactor at a nuclear power plant exploded and burned. Shrouded in secrecy, the incident was a watershed moment in both the Cold War and the history of nuclear power which probably was one of the prime reasons of Soviet Union breakage. It is the only accident in the history of commercial nuclear power to cause fatalities from radiation. It was the product of a severely flawed Soviet error reactor design, combined with human error. More than 30 years on, scientists estimate the zone around the former plant will not be habitable for up to 20,000 years. The VI Lenin nuclear station consisted of four reactors, each capable of producing 1,000 megawatts of electric power, all came online between 1977 and 1983. More two were under construction. The four Chernobyl reactors were pressurized water reactors of the Soviet RBMK design, meaning high power channel reactor. Designed to produce both plutonium and electric power, they were very different from standard commercial designs and employed a unique combination of a graphite moderator and water coolant. The reactors built at Chernobyl were RBMK reactors, which were never built by any country outside the USSR because it had characteristics that were rejected everywhere outside the Soviet Union. Chief among these was its inherent instability, especially on startup and shutdown. Because of the way the reactor used graphite where American reactors use water, when Soviet operators tried to reduce power of the RBMK, it had a tendency to sharply increase power production instead. As overheating became more severe, power increased even more. As of 2019, there are still 11 operational RBMK reactors in Russia. On April 25, 1986, Routine maintenance was scheduled at Nuclear Power Station's fourth reactor, and designated workers planned to use the downtime to test whether the reactor could still be cooled if the plant lost power. During the test, however, workers violated safety protocols and power surged inside the plant. The reactors were highly unstable at low power, that accelerated the nuclear chain reaction and power output as the reactors lost cooling water. These factors all contributed to an uncontrollable power surge. Despite attempts to shut down the reactor entirely, another power surge caused a chain reaction of explosions inside. The hot fuel particles reacted with water and caused a steam explosion which lifted the 1,000 metric ton cover off the top of the reactor, rupturing the rest of the 1,660 pressure tubes, causing a second explosion and exposing the reactor core to the environment. The fire burned for 10 days, releasing a large amount of radiation into the atmosphere. It was carried great distances by air currents. A partial meltdown of the core also occurred. The Chernobyl disaster contaminated 150,000 square miles of area in Russia, Ukraine, and Belarus. The isotopes strontium-90 and cesium-137 still linger. 
There are 187 communities that remain abandoned even today. At the time of the explosion, a massive release of radioactive material spread over much of Europe. On April 27, more than 49,000 inhabitants of Pripyat, the nearest city which was built for Chernobyl plant workers, began to be evacuated and soon became Ghost City. A cover-up was attempted by USSR, but on April 28 Swedish monitoring stations reported abnormally high levels of wind-transported radioactivity and pressed USSR for an explanation. At last on April 28, the Soviet government admitted that there had been an accident at Chernobyl, thus setting off an international outcry over the dangers posed by the radioactive emissions. By May 4, both the heat and the radioactivity leaking from the reactor core were being contained, albeit at great risk to workers known as liquidators. Radioactive debris was buried at some 800 temporary sites. The concentration of radioactive material and amount of time spent with that material are two crucial things while dealing with radioactive elements. More values will impose more risk. Some sources state that two people were killed in the initial explosions, whereas others report that the figure was closer to 50. Dozens more contracted serious radiation sickness, some of these people later died. The elements escaped into the atmosphere were several times more radioactive than that created by the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki of Japan. This radioactivity was spread by the wind over Belarus, Russia, and Ukraine and soon reached as far west as France and Italy. Millions of acres of forest and farmland were contaminated, and, although many thousands of people were evacuated, hundreds of thousands more remained in contaminated areas. In addition, in subsequent years many livestock were born deformed, and among humans several thousand radiation-induced illnesses and cancer deaths were expected in the long term. It is reported that more than 20,000 children and adolescents developed thyroid cancer after being exposed to radiation from the incident, although some experts have challenged that claim. Around 450,000 people were evacuated in total from the affected areas. Many suffered from acute radiation syndrome since the accident. Emergency workers named as liquidators were drafted into the area and helped to clean up the plant premises and the surrounding area. These workers were mostly plant employees, Ukrainian firefighters plus many soldiers and miners from Russia, Belarus, Ukraine, and other parts of the former Soviet Union. The exact number of liquidators is unknown because there are no completely accurate records of the people involved in the cleanup. The Russian registries list approximately 400,000 liquidators as of 1991 and approximately 600,000 people were granted the status of liquidator till date. These 600,000 individuals received special benefits because of their involvement, on and off-site, in tackling the accident's aftermath. Over more than 30 years, Chernobyl accident cost grew to $700 billion. This figure includes the accident damage cost, capital loss, cleaning up of accident site, death, and medical compensations, evacuation of 400,000 plus people and resettling them, genetic deformations, the confinement structure creation immediately, and later, a superior one special benefits for 600,000 liquidators and workers, loss of many kind of resources, health care of people etc.
The Chernobyl disaster sparked criticism of unsafe procedures and design flaws in Soviet reactors, and it heightened resistance to the building of more such plants. Chernobyl Unit 2 was shut down after a 1991 fire, and Unit 1 remained online until 1996. Chernobyl Unit 3 continued to operate until 2000, when the nuclear power station was officially decommissioned. The highly radioactive reactor 4 core was enclosed in a concrete and steel sarcophagus which was later deemed structurally unsound. In 2018 with the help of world community, a new confinement structure was built which is expected to last next 100 years safely. Although no people actually live in the exclusion zone, scientists, scavengers, and others may file for permits that allow them to enter for limited amounts of time. Some liquidators took risk and had photo of the melted radioactive core better known as elephant foot which will never allow us to forget the Chernobyl disaster. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.